Oh. My. Gosh! Ah! Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? Welcome to another vlog. Mikey Bustos here. Guys, check out what we're shopping for. Carpets and rugs. Look at how beautiful this carpet is. And let me tell you, it feels so good on the feet. RJ and I are trying to envision where, <laughs> what rooms need carpets, what carpet designs, sizes. So we love this one. This one looks nice. We were thinking possibly green room. And then the one under it, possibly yellow room. Look at how beautiful this one is. See that, guys? And they're just shipping out more and more samples. We uh, chose from a catalog on their website, and now they're going to bring them over. What do you guys think of this one? Uh, how about entertainment room? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Where would this go? Okay, this could be entertainment room. But, guys, look at what I realized. When you walk on it... It leaves your footprints behind. It's like a beach, guys. This is a beach. Let's walk along our carpet beach. So we would always have to like smoothen it out. Hmm. It looks cool though. OMG, here's some more guys. Whoa. Oh. So it's soft here. And then, oh, this is soft too. It's just different design. Oh, this leaves footprints too. What's up with these footprint ones? I mean, I guess all carpets leave some kind of print. Oh, oh my. Look at this. What in the zebra is going on here? Whoa, okay. We were thinking possibly for green room, but this is this is a little too too exotic, I think. Oh, but it's oh, it feels so comfortable on the feet. Oh, cool look, and you can kind of change the color just by the direction of the fibers. What an interesting these carpets are so interesting. Guys, we are here in Green Hills at a shop called Hezekiah Toy Shop. And look, oh my gosh. Joseph Bustos, are you seeing this? My brother would love this place. My cousins would love this place. It's basically a bunch of like toys. <gasps> and it's so nostalgic, guys. Look, Ninja Turtles. See that, guys? It's incredible. Look, Gremlins. That's little gizmo. Superheroes. DC. Oh man. So, so nostalgic, guys. Predator. So we're here looking for things to stock in the Joseph Room shelves. Oh my gosh, I totally had that toy. Wow, and I totally had this Skeletor castle. All of you from the 80s, did you have this? It unfolds. Oh man, amazing. So we're just picking like random items that have significance to us, like the Sims Homer, right? We met Matt Groening and his son and his whole family. Remember, they're uh, subscribers of Ants Canada and they invited us to their place. So something like this has meaning to us. This is a Pikachu, love it. I grew up watching this show. So did my brother. There's just so much. Look, Ant-Man. You're picking out Funko Pops. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Guys, this is Bobby. Hello. Bobby is a good friend um, of ours and he's an avid toy collector. Look at some of this stuff. Wow, crazy guys. Isn't that awesome? Star Wars, Dragon Ball Z, Iron Man. Yeah. And look at the detail of some of these like toys. They're really collector's items. Slimer and the real Ghostbusters, wow. O-M-G, all of you 80s kids. <gasps> Do you remember Thundercats? Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. Thunder, 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 thundercats. So that's Lion-O. She was my favorite, Chitara. She's a cheetah. And look, there's Mumra and wow. Oh man, this is childhood right here. I kind of had a crush on him, the tiger. But Wily Kit and Wily Cat, the two like young kid cats are missing. But man, this is childhood right here. OMG guys, I'm geeking out. Gargoyles. Do you remember this show? I don't know, for those of you in US and Canada. 
Gargoyles was an awesome show. It reminds me of grade three homework time. <laughs> so we have the Marvel Universe here. We're buying these Funko Pop toys. And then we have a bunch of DC toys. Oh man, the Joseph's room is gonna be awesomely stocked. So for those of you who are new, the Joseph room where we're buying those toys is inspired by my brother who is into all of this kind of stuff. Um, and so it inspired the design of the room. And I think when we stock all of that stuff there, that's gonna look super cool. Yay, we're, we're getting Ninja Turtles. We're getting all four. Yes. We're taking Lion-O guys. Thundercats are on the move. Guys, look at our collection. We just started a toy collection. Thank you, Bobby, for getting us into the toy hobby. Oh man, guys, look, furniture. So this here is Luxine Living. We have several furniture pieces from them. And they're here to bring some furniture pieces that we chose tentatively. They're gonna see if they fit um, in the places we intend for them to fit. And if they do, we buy them on the spot. It's basically this cool like demo trial thing that the company allows um, its customers to do. You know, because you want to check to see if the pieces actually fit well in your house, right? This is going to be cool. Oh my. Um, it's nice, but it's blocking one of the doors. I think it needs to be pushed over a little that way. So that doesn't block this window, right my boy squad? I do like it actually, the more I look at it. Um, what about angling it this way? Ate, Elsie and I think it looks better here, like this. Who's the idea here? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I just don't, I feel like it shouldn't um, block this. That's all. Uh, RJ says there needs to be a pathway this way. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of space here. Wait. Let's. I, this, it's just this. Okay, we're gonna try another spot for this because we like the piece. We're just not sure if it, this is the the right home for it. We want the energy to match. Like everywhere in the home, it's got a certain feel and flow of energy. And if a certain energy does not feel right just by the slightest bit, we're gonna move it. We're not gonna keep it there. We are not married to permanent furniture positions. Oh. Oh, oh! this is, this, this might work. But then, yeah, then it blocks the energy walking down this way. It's a beautiful piece, right? Luxine makes some really gorgeous and unique pieces. Um, some of their clients are Janet Jackson, for instance. So celebrities have bought from this furniture uh, designer brand. And uh, they're Filipino. They're a local Filipino brand. Oh, this looks cool. I kind of like this pairing, well, quadruple layering or quintuple layering. Oh, it's hmm, interesting here, but I think they're going to try putting it back there. Ooh, such unique stools, right guys? Well, coffee table stools slash, not sure what they are. All right, guys, let's walk up here and get a bird's eye view. Whoa, so beautiful. I really love the pillows. So this piece is um, an outdoor lounge so it's made of all materials that are relatively weatherproof and the pillows and the cushion is made of a material that dries quickly so if it gets wet it'll dry quickly okay they're moving it yes whoa oh that's so much better so that when we're up here we could still you know talk to people who are sitting in that lounge and then I think they're gonna try to pair this in here somewhere too. Oh, that looks stunning. Yeah. <gasps> Beautiful. And what a photo that would make too for like guests. See? Oh, be. Stunning. Ooh, I love it. <gasps> See, does that. Mabuhai Squad, is that a better energy? It is, right? Look at RJ doing his thing. He's gonna step back. I rarely get to vlog this part because he's usually, usually like, don't vlog! But I like vlogging RJ when he's not conscious of the camera. <laughs> that looks great there. Um, and we hope to put our fire pit here. 
um, eventually. So we could just hang out here, have our beers and all of that. Oh, we okay, I see. So these, these pieces are also going here. So all of these pieces are Loxin, by the way. We, we have these two we already had. These two are potentially new. We have to still let them know if we want to take them or not. Oh, it looks so pretty, guys. And right, doesn't it look good for photo op as well? So pretty. Mabu High Squad, let's go try sitting in it. Oh, oh, it's comfortable. Oh, and it's got a good view of the house too. Look guys, this is, this is my view. Inside this lounge. Oh, it's so cute. It's such a nice roof. I got a little window here. Oh, cute. I could peek at the flowers and the plumeria through the window. Let's see the other window. More leaves. Oh, it's so, so nice, guys. Do I like the color of the pillows, he's asking. Um, yeah, they're nice, but maybe you could choose others. See, I'm going to put my coffee down right there. Chill, hang out. I like this energy, guys. What do you think, Mabu High Squad? Is this lounge a keeper? I think so. Try sitting inside it. Watch. Nice, right? <laughs> All right. So they're going to let us keep this here. Um, we're probably going to change the colors of the pillows we were talking earlier. Maybe like a dark forest green, maybe a gray, and I don't know, some other kind of green or, or who knows, maybe a brown just so it looks a bit m more i don't know uniform but i like it there guys Ooh, yay now they're checking a lamp in the entertainment room oh beautiful oh oh it looks like a honeycomb kind of it's triggering my trypophobia though oh hard like smooth material like a felt Guys, does this trigger your, trigger your tripophobia? For me, it kind of does. But it's cool though. I mean, it looks neat. This giant lamp was what was there before. And I liked it. My Buhai squad, back in the pool. <laughs> Watching the sunset. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much, Loxin team. These are the gentlemen from the Loxin team. They're just looking around. They noticed that the um, sombrero chandelier we got for our pool bar is also from Luxine. But guys, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, oh man, sunsets here by the pool, right at the edge, edge of the forest, watching all the animals and birds emerge is just beautiful. Look at the sky. Oh, I am obsessed with being in the pool every sunset. It's so, so magical. Temperature of the water is amazing. Mm, it's like warm, but refreshing. Guys, having a pool just changed our lives. Guys, I'm blasting Backstreet Boys, sorry. But gosh, the sky is so beautiful. <gasps> Nature, I love you. Mabu High Squad, do you see that? Watch the water carefully. There are bats that are swooping down for a drink. Wait. Literal bats. For like a good, I don't know, 10, 15 minute window. At sunset, the bats come and they swoop down for a drink. It's very fast, so you have to keep an eye on them, watch. I'll just let this keep running. Hopefully they come back. Oh no, I think they're gone. Come on, bats. They swoop down for a drink and you could actually see where they hit the water because the water ripples. Oh man, I guess they're gone. But it's such a short window that these bats come and drink. Like literally, it's like a 10 minute window. It happened at the same time yesterday. Yeah, guys, sorry, I think they're all gone. They're off hunting now for insects. Actually, guys, I went back on the footage and I saw it's pretty cool, right? They're so like fast and if you blink, you'll miss it. So cool. Welcome, bats. 
Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, it's like lunchtime the next day. I worked out early. Ah, chilling in the pool again to Amy. Guys, it's crazy how much I just want to be in the water. I just never want to leave. It's so good. I just want to float here. Just love water, guys. I think it's because both RJ and I were water signs. Mm -hmm. RJ is a triple Pisces, meaning his sun rising and moon signs are Pisces. OMG. Um, and I'm a Pisces Cancer. Pisces moon, Cancer, sun. Leo rising, hence the hair and the bravado sometimes. Having Leo as my rising sign, I think has helped me as a performer. Because when I'm on stage, I like am someone completely different. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is all weird astrology talk. Not that I follow it. But that's why I love water. Water is our element. Okay guys, we'll get back in the water later today probably. But I wanted to show you. Look guys, the Bahai Kubo. It now has like the beginning of a roof. Now, here's the thing I realized. The original idea was for this to be a Bahai Kubo, which in Filipino means like the traditional bamboo hut. Um, but then as it started to take shape, right, um, we started modeling it after the cottages at Sonia's Garden, which is this beautiful Airbnb, well, wellness spa resort up in the mountains in Tagaytay here in the Philippines, where RJ and I lived for a good five or six months during pandemic. And um, yeah, we were inspired by the cottages there. And the cottages there are more of like post-colonial Filipino traditional house. But like when we were ruled by the Spaniards, I guess. So now it's more of like a post-colonial house. It's no longer a Bahai Kubo. It's more just like a, you know, a traditional Filipino house back when the Spaniards were in power here in the Philippines. Now the whole purpose of the Bahai Kubo was to give our guests um, a Filipino experience. So for those, you know, visiting the, the Philippines and staying um, at our Mabuhay Squad farmhouse, um, and if our friends and family wanted like a real traditional sort of feel, they could like sleep in this room which was supposed to be the Bahai Kubo. But now they're gonna get more of a post-colonial, sp like Spanish Filipino experience, which is still cool, cause it's still Filipino. It's a, still a Filipino experience because you know, Spain is a very big part of our history and our culture. So yeah, I think that's still cool that it's no longer a Bahai Kubo, right? It's not so appropriate to call it a Bahai Kubo anymore. There isn't even any bamboo on it or anything. It does, it's not even a Nipa hut. It's more of like a post-colonial traditional Filipino house. See? Let's go inside, guys. Oh, see? It's also smart. We've modernized it. See? Eventually this will be nicely decorated. Um, and I believe they finished the, the observatory at the back. Let's see. They finished the porch. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Okay, they're scaffolding because they're working on the roof. But oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I just saw a bird. Oh, there was this beautiful bird. Oh my gosh, Mabuhay Squad, it's so nice. Look, the glass is here now. So we could literally walk up to the glass and without this scaffolding, <gasps> it will look stunning. And see, now that it's a, it's rainy season, the forest is starting to become alive now. So green. RJ and I and Ate June, our landscaper, have talked about planting um, some native trees in here so they could this, this forest can really be lush and possibly um, trees that produce really colorful flowers. But here, guys, I want your opinion on this. Um, regarding having, you know, trees that blossom bright red or bright yellow and have all of these like flowers in the trees like a fire tree or whatever RJ and I were talking and I want to get your opinions on this would it be weird if there were like big batches of colors or should it just be green 
like as the backdrop of our infinity, right? Like that will soon be nice and brown, so it'll camouflage well. But should the this backdrop stay green or should it be full of like color, like reds and yellows and because some trees, guys, they blossom. Like if you've ever seen a fire tree, wow, at certain seasons, they're just, it's like cherry blossoms, our version of cherry blossoms. So we were thinking, hmm, should we plant trees that produce intense flowers or should we just leave it green like this? Let me know your thoughts. Personally, I love it green. It looks, it just looks so nice. And I'm just trying to imagine what it would look like with, you know, with other color in there. Let's see, guys. <gasps> oh my gosh! Ah! Mabu High Squad, look. <gasps> it looks so good. It's Ant-Man. Oh, uh, oh, I love this room. The Joseph room, guys. Sorry, they had to like cover the bed because when they just installed this today. <gasps> I'm breath, I'm breathless. Mabuhai Squad, does that not look the coolest? Oh, I like this room. And guys, all the toys we bought are installed in, into the shelving. <gasps> oh, it's so good. Ninja Turtles. Where's Michelangelo? He's my favorite. Raphael, there, Michael. Oh my gosh, it looks so epic. Wow, and they really cut it out, like perfectly. So guys, this here is wallpaper, I believe. Um, and it looks so awesome. For those of you who don't know, this is Ant-Man. We had several choices. We could have put Spider-Man up there. The original um, inspiration RJ got from online had a Batman on that side. But oh, it looks so cool. What do you guys think? Oh, that looks awesome. Funko Pops up there. Those are all Marvel. There's little Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man. How cute. Oh, there's DC. I see DC right there. We gotta keep it unbiased. DC, Marvel, you know what I'm saying? I've showed this to you guys, right? Our Secret Lab gaming chair um, edition. Cool, right? And there's a little gizmo. Yes. Hi, Pikachu. Oh, this room is really awesome. It's, it's literally a walk down memory lane. Like other than Ant-Man, which is relatively new. Like some of this stuff is so nostalgic. Thundercats, guys, seriously. And one thing I learned is that Thundercats did play in the Philippines. RJ doesn't know Thundercats because he's too young. But our driver, Kuya Lee, does know Thundercats. He watched it here in the Philippines. See, it's all just so nostalgic. And oh my gosh, yes! Gargoyles! Ghostbusters! Slimer! Hi, Slimer! Stay Puff Marshmallow Man! Oh man, this is, this is one of my favorite rooms now. And look at the detail of these toys, seriously. You know, RJ, luckily I stopped him because RJ's like, I need to remove these from the box so that they'll fit onto the shelves. I'm like, RJ, no! Do not open them from the box because these things have value. These are collectible items and they, um, the value is higher if they are not opened, right? Mabuhay Squad, am I right? Are any of you Mabuhay Squad toy collectors? Like some of this will be good money someday, I think. Oh my gosh, guys, I love that room. Joseph, are you watching? The Joseph room is really epic. I like that it's kind of like a man-child room. Um, that's the concept we were going for with that room. And it kind of reminds you to never lose your inner child. Um, and kind of to really, like it's a very nostalgic room for me anyway. So it, um, yeah, it kind of also reminds you to remember how much fun it was growing up, you know what I mean? All the good, fun, memorable things from our childhood and to be grateful for it. Oh guys, something's happening here in the roof deck. <gasps> oh, they're landscaping now. Here you are. Oh, say, look at Sahara. Hey Sahara. There's Ate June, our landscaper and RJ. Oh, it's so nice. I love the corners. Wow, I love it. Guys, they're rearranging. Oh. You know, it really, 
it really gives life to the corners when you add pots oh this is gonna look epic see it's it seems more of like a living space now <laughs> now that we have plants up here i guess they're trying to rearrange and see what works Sice, do you like it up here oh the dogs love it up here yay guys and we're planting two palm trees here yay golden betcha it will be called oh i can't wait to see that guys guys something tells me i'm gonna like hanging out up here as well so so nice like plants just give life to a space like i'm not sure if it translates well on camera right now but it's almost like the addition of plants is very inviting it's almost like it gives you a visual permission to come wander here because look there are plants growing here life is sprouting so feel free come wander onto this roof deck it's okay life grows here like that kind of thing that's what i find oh oh my gosh there's gonna be a fountain here too you're three fountains yay guys so one of the f the fountains that we originally had in our aviary will be here oh cool so guys here in the aviary and the birds are loving sweet potato. I put camote in there. Do you like it? They're kind of fighting over it, guys. They finished their breakfast, which was a chop of like various veggies, a couple berries, flowers, all of that. And now I put some sweet potato in there. I'm not sure if they've ever eaten sweet potato, but guys, they love it. The Conyers had some, the Blue Napes, had some. Gabriella's up there eating some sweet potato right now. She's loving it, look. And look at her eye pinning. Do you guys see that? See how the pupils dilate? They become small and big really fast. That means she loves what she's eating. Mmm, sweet potato. Good, right? Guys, I am so satisfied watching the birds eat healthy food, honestly. It's just so gratifying. I'm not sure why. I love when my animals eat really healthy food. I just love when the animals are healthy, you know? You can really see it in their feather quality, their beak quality. Look at their beaks, guys. That is one healthy beak. There are some bird owners that just feed their birds like, you know, a generic seed mix. Some just give um, sunflower seeds which is not good. I mean, sunflower seeds can be part of a seed mix because they do offer nutrients, but not just sunflower seeds. In the wild, a lot of these birds eat a broad array of botanicals and nuts and grains and fruit. What are you eating? Oh, I think that is a piece of dragon fruit peel. Yeah, that's a piece of dragon fruit peel that we put in their breakfast. And guys, if you want to have birds, look at the mess they make. <laughs> this gets all washed away um, in the morning. We completely wash the floor of this aviary. But they are messy. You birds are messy. But that's just the way birds are. They like to destroy things, right? They're always chewing on like leaves and trees. They help fell leaves and trees out in nature. And like, because they're limited to just these trees, they've completely like destroyed the trees. But in nature, they would just fly to another new tree and like start chewing leaves and branches off that tree without killing it, right? And then when they eat the, their various seeds and nuts and whatever else they're eating, they cast off so much on the ground. They just throw it away and then like animals on the ground get to eat their leftovers. Birds have such a great multi-purpose in the ecosystem. They help distribute seeds, right? A lot of the fruit they eat, like berries and stuff, they ingest the seeds and then the bird flies somewhere else, far away from the tree that it ate the seed and then it poops it out somewhere else along with the poop. So it's got fertilizer and then that seed can then go on and sprout into a new plant. So a lot of these trees and plants depend on birds to distribute their seeds and fertilize them. You birds are awesome! 
Oh, guys, and guess what else? Look at what some of the workers found. Looks like an ordinary tree here, right? Unsuspecting. But look, there's a nest here, guys. And it's so low. And look, there are eggs inside. See? Whoa. Three little cute eggs. I wonder what birds these are. Okay, I'm going to leave because the parents are probably looking from a distance somewhere going, ah! They're eating my babies. No, I'm not, just peeking. But it's amazing, like, how they can make these nests so inconspicuous. Like, I would have never expected a nest to be in that bush. And see, guys, why it's important to add lots of lush greenery on your property, bushes, trees, even if it's not growing out of the ground. It's just growing in a pot because wildlife could use it. I would have never thought there, were, there was a bird's nest there. Cool. Now, in terms of the other bird's nests that I, you know, have stuck around, like that one, I don't think any birds have found it yet. I'm not sure, but I'm still hoping some birds will nest there. It's in a cool spot. And this here, guys, is the final look. <gasps> Whoa, it's so beautiful. You know, it's amazing watching like, because this all started out as a concept, right? Like, we knew what we wanted it to look like. We knew what elements we wanted to add to the room. But watching it come together, guys, it's like magic. Like, it's, it's everything we ever dreamed. Like, this is exactly what I dreamed of for this room. See, Mabu High Squad? Guys, I don't know which is my favorite room now. <laughs> It's hard to say. You guys have seen the yellow room, right? Nice and sunny. Sunset, most beautiful room here. And we asked our helper, Ate Elsie, which one is her favorite of all our guest rooms. And she said this, the yellow room. It really does have a different vibe. And you know, it's, again, it's amazing to see it all come together. This was the exact kind of like feeling and vibe that I envisioned, the same energy that uh, I envisioned for this room. And like, it's got a beautiful view of our side lot. You see, when we have all of our crops and farm stuff growing there, it's a nice view of the side. It's basically a gold snow globe. Isn't that cute? This is the view from the green room. The green room has a corner window. Gorgeous, gorgeous view of things, see? view of the yard and the pool. And it too has quite the vibe. Man, it's so hard to decide which one I love more. Eventually, RJ and I want to sleep in every guest bedroom so we can like, you know, see what it feels like to uh, stay in each of the rooms. Mirror, sorry guys, I'm still in my Speedos. All this time vlogging around my house with my Speedos. But yeah, really, really happy with how these rooms are turning out. We are gearing up, guys, for the full house tour, which, um, as I've been saying and teasing over these past few vlogs, is coming soon. Um, we're starting to make plans now with uh, the group that will be helping us film the house tour because we want to film it in, I guess, a, a special way. Um, you know, to bring justice to uh, to the home and all the love and time and energy that went into all the little details. So we just want to film it with some extra pizzazz, I guess. Guys, look, the blue bees are back. See? So beautiful. I love these blue bees. They're called blue banded bees, I believe. But man, it is windy. Windy for these bees. Look at that color, wow. So beautiful. They really seem to love these flowers here by the pool. This particular flower, I'm not sure what they're called, but they come in different colors. Like there's a yellow variety. They visit those flowers as well. See, there's one way down there. And then on the other side is a purple variety with like white. And it's so cool because like some flowers have multiple colors on one plant like look at this one this one is red 
and purple and yellow. See? And the blue bees love it. I could just watch these bees all day. Check out the colors on this one. It's like a whole bunch of different colors on one plant. Okay guys, so gotta move the iguanas back from this cage to their main cage because they had to do maintenance in their main cage. Go, go, go. Woo! Alright, look at Adam. He's doing his head shake now. There you go, back home. Sorry, we just had to do some maintenance. We basically had to ch change the drain to make it larger so poop could um, wash down into it easier from this lower part. Okay, we're gonna put their greens here, their bowl. And this we've been filling with water because we found there was a leak in their main pool and so we're, that's under repair as well. Sorry guys, you're just gonna have to bathe in your tub like usual. Very good, Adam. You are very good. He's still shy, Adam is the shyest. And as for you, Eve, you're so easy to handle. This is great. <laughs> he, I think he notices the ground is different. So we've, add, we've changed this paved floor to make it slope a bit more so that the poo really does wash down here when we hose the area. Yes. Smells different, huh? Don't try to eat it. No. I'm not worried. It's It's been able to dry over the past couple of days. It's okay. Don't be scared. Okay, he's zoning out. It's okay. It's just me. It's just me. I'm not hurting you. I'm trying to like get them used to human interaction because if you don't and these lizards get up to five, six feet long, man, they can get nasty. This tail can whip you. Oh, and it hurts. It hurts a lot when they tail whip. So far, the iguanas have never tail whipped me and they've never bitten me, which is good. See, I'm a friend. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, don't worry, Adam. I'm just a friend. Yep. Just trying to get him used to me touching him like this so that he realizes me touching him won't kill him. All right, I'm done. You can go join Eve down there. I think they're also nervous because Rizal is here. That's Rizal, he can't get you here. Enjoy your newly renovated lair, my dragons. Yes. <laughs> Don't chastise the iguanas, Rizal. Adam's still interested in eating the pavement. Gosh, guys, they are such beautiful, beautiful lizards. Look at them. Stunning. And now they're... Eve is gonna head. Where is she going? You gonna eat? I don't think she's gonna eat. I think they're full. Yep, she's eating. Oh no, wait. You gonna eat? <laughs> Good morning. Morning, guys. Look at how beautiful the aviary is at the in the morning. Good morning, Miranda. Hey, Morans. This here is Miranda. We're babysitting her. Yes, and Coco over there, this brown girl here. They belong to our cousins Ed, Mark, and Nika, you guys know. And she is the mom of all these pup, all our small puppies. Sahara here is our daughter, twin sister of Coco. Um, can you believe that these two dogs came from that little tiny thing? Insane. Anyways, I sometimes forget how beautiful the aviary looks in the morning. See? Gorgeous. Without the swirls, we can actually see more of the aviary. And guys, I think it's safe to remove these UV decals. What do you think? 
Do you think it's time? Um, I don't remember what month last year we put them on, along with the soap swirls, but the original purpose was to teach the birds not to fly into the glass. The birds clearly know that there's glass there, no pun intended, um, but they do. So um, maybe it's time to remove these decals. What do you guys say? They stick on just with static electricity, like there's no sticky side to it, so they can be stuck on to other places and reused if need be. We bought them off online and they seem to have worked. What do you guys think? Should we remove them? Maybe just remove this front, all the ones from the front first and like see if the birds like fly into the glass because if they do then we'll have to put them back on and if they don't then we can remove the second floor glass right which is more dangerous because if they fly into the second floor glass they could fall and and die so but my intuition says that the birds understand that there's glass here now if we were to get another bird or birds we would need to put these stickers back on and teach the birds the new birds that there's glass there again so we would have to keep these so guys another thing i'm excited about that i noticed just this morning is so first of all this here is called um buddha bamboo called buddha because it's like kind of fat at the bottom um and just the shape of the bamboo but if you look carefully so like obviously the birds destroyed it because that's what birds do but if you look carefully more bamboo is growing so it's been raining non-stop all night um it's been raining every day and i it's causing the bamboo to just come back to life which means that we just need to really water the bamboo for it to really sprout. Maybe we're not watering it enough, but look, see? Because bamboo is supposed to grow really fast. I was hoping that it would keep up with the bird's destruction. Even this bamboo, this pole bamboo here, destroyed by the birds, but overnight it's grown some new growths. If you look carefully, you can kind of see them like right there, see? New growths coming in. Yay! All right, guys, so all the stickers removed, glass wiped, and holy wow! What a difference, guys. It's so clear now. I'm totally not used to it, but it's a nice change. Also removed some of the decals from this front glass and placed the decals, a few of them, here in the end room. I think they would serve a better purpose here. See? So birds don't fly into our glass. Also here on the second floor, onto the net. Gonna start pasting them on the glass here. Yes. See? Yay, success. Now some say that you need to put a lot of those decals on one window um, for it to be effective and for the birds to really see it. Like you need several per pane of glass, but I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't think so. But if we ever do get bird deaths, we can always add more. It's just for precaution, right guys? And I love this. Some Canadian flag representation. All right guys, they are almost done the roof. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, that looks super cool. Now it matches our pool bar roof. See that? Guys, Ed Mark's here. Yeah. Welcome back from Cebu. Yes, thank you for teaching me to swim. <laughs> yeah, guys, he swam in the ocean. With no life vest. With no life vest. And he started to learn in our pool. We're gonna swim later? Yes. Yay. So yeah, bye Coke. See, we're gonna miss you. We love babysitting them here. And thank you, thank they you. They love playing with each other too. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want to stay. <laughs> Guys, we bought a TV for the green room. 
so that, you know, we figured all bedrooms might as well have a television. We're gonna put it right there. We could have put it right up here so that it's right in front of the bed, but I don't know, this wall seems kind of bare. People could just watch from the side maybe. Or should it be up there? It's just kind of a funny place to put a television, really. It could work. What do you guys think? Oh my, what an interesting place to put a plant. Okay, that's cool. Oh, <gasps> guys, look. Oh my, okay, so all the plants are potted. Wow, yay. They're setting up the water fountain, the three water fountain features, which used to be in the aviary. Whoa, look at that. Cypher, you like it up here, huh? So it rained earlier today, so parts of the floor are kind of kind of wet. See? Um, this is my favorite corner right here. That is a great energy. Look at that. Oh, wow, cool. I love this. Look at the flowers. Ooh. Cool, right, Sives? The dogs love it up here. They, they sniff every little corner. And we got the palm trees. Oh, this is gonna be amazing when these palm trees get bigger. How awesome. What do you think, cuz? So nice. It's nice to party here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I wanna have a party up here. We need a DJ. That's right. Oh, and the Conyers are here to say hello. Hi. This is definitely a place to have one huge party. Right, guys? As soon as we get some outdoor furniture up here, this place will be set. And wow, look, we're right up in the trees, guys. See? Right up in the trees. Oh, wow, guys, look. Look what RJ ordered. They're called bamboo luggage racks. So this is one of the things we wanted for a long time now, guys, because of all the visitors we host, a lot of them are from out of town, out of country, you know, from the US and Canada, and recently Korea. And um, I noticed that they just leave their suitcases on the ground, and then it's just like, it, it's just very kind of messy. So we've been wanting to get these luggage racks for our guests' uh, suitcases. So, you know, it can lay on a kind of platform and it doesn't need to look so, I don't know, it just looks so scattered when a suitcase is open on the ground. Um, at least this way, our guests have somewhere to place their suitcases. Yay! And it's made from bamboo. Sweet. Oh, and a black one for the Joseph room, apparently. <gasps> so guys, one of these, we're gonna actually varnish it so that it matches with the green room furniture. Sweet. Man, even our suitcase luggage racks will be color coordinated and matching. All right, Mabuhai squad. So for the rest of the day, going to be hanging out with Edmark. Guess where? Obviously the pool. It's just an awesome social and communal thing to do here at the Mabuhai squad farmhouse. I put on my sunscreen and I'm going to wait the 15 minutes and the birds are coming out now too. Um, and so yeah, guys, we are reaching the end. Decorating, well, you know, for decorating and stuff for the house. It's uh, going to be fun. We're also kind of racing to the finish line now because guess what? Media is already starting to contact us here in the Philippines. Like basically like top media personalities. Not gonna say who. Um, but like they want to feature our house guys on like, you know, and like present it to the nation uh, Which is kind of crazy. So we are doing everything we can to finish and you know make things um, Presentable for those who want to come and spend some time here um, And who want to have a tour uh, of the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse So guys, we're going to enjoy the pool now but if you enjoyed this vlog, guys, if you can remember, please be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. You can count on us to give you a picker-upper, right? Um, and I love hanging out with you guys every time these vlogs go up. Be sure to leave a comment so I can see you. You guys come out from the darkness that is the internet and introduce yourselves. I'd love, love to get to know you guys. So, heading in the pool now. 
Love you guys. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.